What's up, Insider? It's Newsday. Let's get into it. Today, we have some exciting pre-holiday updates to share with you regarding YouTube shopping, product tagging, and analytics. Before, creators were able to tag products to their videos, but with limited control over when the product actually appeared in the video. However, things are about to change. Creators who are participating in YouTube shopping, which includes those who have connected their first-party stores or enrolled in the affiliate program, will now have the ability to add timestamps when tagging products. This means that creators can showcase a specific product at a specific moment in their videos. How cool is that? Coming soon, affiliate creators will also be able to see top performing products based on sales. This will be available from the shopping tab. This means that creators who are part of the affiliate program can now see how their promoted products are performing, which can greatly help to optimize content and maximize earnings. Stay tuned for this upcoming update. Now, lastly, we have even more exciting news for affiliate creators. Previously, you could only tag products to one video at a time, which could be time consuming for those who have a lot of videos. But now, Creators will be able to tag products to multiple videos at once based on the links detection and video description. This will save a ton of time and allow creators to efficiently tag and or promote more products on their content. These updates are designed to empower creators and help you make the most out of your YouTube channels. From timestamp tagging to enhanced sales and order analytics, these features provide creators with greater control and insights into their product placements and are great features to use for upcoming holiday seasons. We hope you're as excited about these new features as we are. Next up today, we have some important information to share with all of you as we approach the end of the year. If you are a monetizing creator, you should review your tax information to ensure you've submitted a tax form. Google, the parent company of YouTube, is required under Chapter 3 of the US Internal Revenue Code to withhold taxes and report to the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, when a YouTube partner program creator earns royalty revenue from viewers in the United States. So, what should you do? Well, if you haven't already provided your US tax information, make sure to do so as soon as possible. If we don't have your tax information, Google may be required to withhold 24% of your worldwide earnings in US taxes. Additionally, you may want to check if you are eligible to claim a tax treaty. To determine if you are eligible, review your form and confirm with a tax advisor who can guide you through the process. To make a claim for treaty benefits, please complete a new form W-8 before December 10th, 2023 and submit an affidavit of unchanged status along with other additional documents. If applicable, Google will recalculate your withholding taxes for 2023 and refund any difference. This is also applicable for affiliate creators. Those of you who are part of a multi-channel network in MCN, please note that even though your channel is affiliated with an MCN, you still need to provide your US tax information in AdSense, for the YouTube account linked to your channel. If any taxes apply, they will be deducted from the payment made to your MCN. We hope this information has been helpful and will guide you in taking the necessary steps to ensure compliance with US tax regulations. And that's about it for this week. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, we'll see you next week.